Kia ora, tina koutou. Hello and welcome to episode 31 of Thomcraft with Bertros. And it is incredibly difficult to mine with my boots of the meteor on. I might actually just really quick take those off. Uh, today what we're doing is mining obsidian. Because I'm not sure if you know, but obsidian is actually a really good source of ease. Pro tip there. <laughs> See, I'm just mining this out just to uh, fuel the... Uh, the thousands of these that we're no doubt going to need in the future. Uh, actually, I was I was playing just before and Minecraft crashed again and it destroyed an entire stack of obsidian because I'd I'd just thrown it into the crucible, but it blew up uh, and then it crashed and then I lost the entire stack of obsidian. So I'm actually down here again, getting some more obsidian to make because actually I've uh. I have researched, what is it called, the elemental, the elemental cutter, yes, the elemental cutter, uh, I researched that off camera, uh, I, the tricky one that we had, I've got that now, it's a, a scroll that I've read, and it takes a lot of these to make, <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to be uh, just a, a, not AFK, but I'm going to be away for a few minutes, just uh, mining some obsidian to fuel our V system, we've got 14 so far, I need to get some more. Oh yeah, and I'm using my uh, Void Crusher here. Uh, I've gotten used to using that now as my uh, pickaxe. Uh-oh. Ah! Ah, oh, charm of life, I love you. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm used to using the uh, this thing as a pickaxe. It looks a little strange at first, but you know, when, once you use it, it's, uh, it's fine. Alright, well we finally got a stack of obsidian. Well, it didn't actually take too long. Uh, but yeah, uh, just a small update actually. Uh, I took off my air things with my wand of reversal, so I've got a few extra air seals. Yeah, I'm completely out of ease here. Uh, I've made a few extra tanks as well, just to uh, so to get a lot of ease going. Uh, how do I want to do this? I think. Oh, hello. Ease in there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, because this was on. Uh, so yeah, I've added this here. It's full. Mm. Okay, now how this works. Very easy to explain, actually. Uh, this is what I didn't want to do to begin with. Uh, because I was actually... When I was thinking of it, I was going to be doing it up there. Uh, eventually this will be removed, but for now this is just uh, how it's working. Uh, so basically, uh, at the moment, you can see uh, the lever's off. So the furnace is off. But this is open. So that means that when this is on, the furnace is going, the, uh, essentially, basically this whole crucible's going, but this will be off. Now what this is going to be doing is keeping the taint inside here so it's being processed by these filters. Simple. All you got to do is turn it on and uh, I believe... Ah! <laughs> Thank you, Vine. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's happened a lot, actually. Yeah, I fall off a lot doing that. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but yeah, that happens. <laughs> But yeah, uh, so you turn this on, and I was about to say, uh, just another news, I've got a stack of alimentum in here now. I managed to get enough coal and redstone and stuff for that. So you just stick your obsidian in here. Let it boil up. How much is it going to do? I don't actually know how much an entire stack of obsidian processes. It's probably not going to be able to do the whole lot. It uh, looks like the... Uh, these things are processing the taint pretty much instantly. Okay, well that one's full. So these do produce taint. I was under the impression they actually didn't. Okay, so that holds 750 V. So that's, in, that's, good, that's good to know. So uh, we can turn this off, I think. No, wait. Yeah, we have to keep it on, basically, in order to keep that going. So uh, I believe this will just be sucking up all the loose V sets in here, yeah. Right. Okay, I think we're just going to have to cut this off. So it looks like a whole stack of obsidian is not really going to do too well. But anyway, it seems this seems like the uh, it's dealing with the taint. Okay. Uh, my concern was just that taint would be able to escape the crucible before it gets uh, processed. Okay, it looks like we've uh, finished with the crucible. Double clicking, fail. Uh, what else have we got? I've got a fish in here. I was fishing just before. I've got a fish now. Let's, uh, how are we doing over here? Yeah. Now, where's that thing that I wanted to show you? The, uh, 
the element, well I didn't want to show you, but let's just show you anyway, the elemental cutter, because it didn't show off the recipe. Check that out guys, 500 Vs, wow. So yeah, uh, combining the speed of the X of the stream, the elemental fury of the sword of the Zephyr, and the versatility of the void cutter, this weapon cuts a sway through both wood and bone. No enemy or item can escape your grasp while you hold this blade. So this this is like the ultimate sword. And that's what I got the obsidian for. I want it. So I need an extract of lightest air. An extract of coolest water. English translation means I fall to my death. Of course, I'm sorry. There we go. I need... I need 500 Vs just for that, so I actually need a thousand Vs. Yeah, okay. I've got plenty. So yeah, uh, this was just a little concern that I was having, is that uh, what, what would happen once this uh, filled up? And it looks like it's just uh, filling into other tanks, so that seems to work. We'll just turn that off. Let it stabilize. Excellent. So we just need... I need two shimmer leaves. I've never made this, I don't think, before. I'm going to need two glass, two glass things. Oh yeah, so I've uh, got void chests all along here now. A lot of them are full of just random junk. And my inventory is also full of random junk. Let's just get this going in here. Shimmer leaf, this. And what was it? Lightest air, coolest water. So we need one of these and one of these. Uh, this is the other uh, crystal count at the moment. Um, only low on Vs crystals at the moment, but everything else we're actually doing quite well and uh, Tainted crystals pretty low. I want to get a crystallizer going pretty soon because this is starting to really mount up. We'll uh, get that going as well. I've got some Eldritch Keystones ready to uh, use on the monolith down there as well. But yeah, uh, so, so yeah, things are going quite well in the, uh, in the world of my Thomcraft at the moment. Uh, it's good. Everything's going great. I just need to see if I can make a golden apple. I can't, I, I've never actually made a golden apple in Thorncraft. Like, I mean, even just Minecraft. Ever. Like, ever, ever. And I, I thought the recipe was, um... Uh, eight gold ingots, but I think somebody said it was one gold ingot. Well, they're wrong. <laughs> uh, but anyway, this is done lightest air now we just need coolest water whatever it was uh, one of those and glass I don't have any more no aha so yeah uh, I've also been working on the um, the vis grinder as I've come to call it now uh, yeah we've got I've got another <laughs> I've completely revamped the thing again and, I, and I'm more pleased this time. I'm still not 100% happy, but it, it's not going to get much better, to be honest. The Vs Grinder now. It's about at the stage where it's about as good as it's going to get, really. I guess I can just quickly show it off. Uh, I'm not going to do a full tour of it today. Just because so much is actually in there now. But, uh... This is what it looks like. I've got my portal back as the uh, first major change. Uh, all night or lighting... I've got all my uh, things along the side here. I haven't managed to fit my chest in yet. I've got to uh, put that in sometime, probably just over in the corner there or something. Uh, I've got my seal on the floor here to gather in rotten flesh, which goes into here. I've got my uh, brains in a jar, items just in there. So I've got plenty of rotten flesh coming in. And nothing's happening in there at the moment. Uh, there's a whole mess of uh, conduits underneath the uh, floorboards here. Uh, I might show you once sometime, but for now... Uh, don't really want to do that. So basically all you need to really know about is that the zombies sort of fall out of that, uh, I'm not sure how well you can see, but there's, uh, there's water there that comes down and uh, that's how they fall into the room. So yeah, that's what's going on there. How are we doing over here? 551 Vs. Coolest water. Cool. I just need to dump some of this junk, man. Uh, I've got plenty of chests that are like completely empty, I think. Yeah, look at this one. Uh, let's just throw in a bunch of stuff there. Yeah, well, maybe not the lapis, but we can do the organization off camera, I think. Uh, 
Oh, there it is. I've got it on me. Oh, okay. So I just need everything. Yeah. Does it matter if it's uh, durability, dur durabilized? We'll find out, I guess. Right. So stick this here. Stick that there. You. You and you. Is that it? Anything else? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, looks like the order here matters. Hmm. Or it could be the, the sort of the Zephyr. Okay, we'll just repair that uber quick. Cool. Alright. Are you ready for the top tiered sword in Thorncraft? Oh my. Look at that baby go. I guess while we're waiting actually we'll uh, get the crystallizer going if I can remember the recipe. It uses one of each crystal. Oh okay I've got a couple of these. Uh, one of you. One of you. One of you. One of you. Should be two gold. And... Yeah, I think that's everything that we need. So uh, let's go in here. Now, what was the order again? Uh, I did write down the order so that I wouldn't have to be messing around off camera kind of thing. I, I'm smart. So that's the order. And then you put the gold, I think. Or is it like that? That's in the middle. It's a diamond. Diamond in the middle. Photographic memory. I've even got a spot for it ready there, which is awesome. No, that's not right. You've got to you've got to get the order for this just right. It's not like a it's not like you can put the crystals wherever you want. You have to get the order for those right. And I've got the order down here. Oh. Ha ha ha! That took a while, but we've got it. The crystallizer. So I'm just going to stick that there, right where I've decided it's going to be, and yeah, I guess that's all there is to it, really. Uh, let's uh, let's throw in a stack of depleted crystals, and I guess it uses V's. Yeah, I'm out of V's, aren't I? But anyway, I'm out of V's because I've got this thingy, the elemental cutter. So, it's the axe of the stream, the sword of the zephyr. Do I get to fly with it still? Oh no! No, I don't get to fly! Oh, I might have to make myself another sword of the zephyr to, uh, to keep flying around. I like flying. But yeah, weed cutter. Sweet. How's that? Oh, I didn't stick anything in there. So you stick them there, I think, and then uh, and then it uses up all of your vs. Yep. Okay, I think we'll just throw on a few crystals. What have I got a lot of? Earth. Sweet. I'll just throw these in this uh, condenser thing. I'm, just, I'm, I'm starting to sort of like have a ton of these and uh, depleted crystals. I think I said way early on that these were actually uh, kind of useful. This is why. You can turn them back. Okay, I haven't actually given a proper explanation. Uh, so this bar started off full. It's going down. When it goes down, one of these depleted crystals is going to be randomly turned into one of the six other kinds of crystals. Of course, the bad thing here is that it can turn into a tainted crystal. Hopefully we won't get too many of those. But I do need them on the other hand, so yeah. Hello sunshine. Let's use the flying carpet. I just love this thing. I want to head to the monolith, actually. But if I want to do that, I'm going to need these things, which I've prepared in advance. We're going to be cracking open the uh, the rest of those uh, holes in the wall, just to see what we can get out of them. Uh, I don't need to do any more Eldritch research. Well, I do, just to get that final thing. But I do need, I do need like all the eldritch mechanisms I can get basically to get more of these things and it's a lot easier just to get them from the monoliths than it is to make them because you know you need to have the seeds of darkness, quicksilver, iron, 
the list goes on. Anyway, how's a darkness generator doing just while I'm over here? I haven't been here in a while. No way. How did you sneak up on me? Good time to test it out. Whoa. One, two, three hits. So it's better than diamond, because diamond is like four hits, I think. Ah, sweet. Give me... Okay. <laughs> we won't be able to use it this time, but... We'll see the darkness. It seems to be going slower than usual. Not sure why. Let's head down. Ah. Down we go. Familiar tune down here, guys. You've uh, seen this a couple of times now. And, uh... Probably can't see all that well. We were in there last episode. What's going to be in these other three? Oh, yeah. Yeah, much the same story, really. Ooh. Eldritch mechanism, so yeah, that's good. Seeds of Darkness. Uh, and rare thing. What else have we got over here? Eldritch Mechanism... Why is my inventory is just like full? Oh goodness me. Uh, okay, let's uh, take this thing. Cool. What have we got over here? Okay, I might have to clean up my inventory. I have to be honest, I'm actually missing the Sword of the Zephyr, so being able to fly with it. Because I, I found that that was a more interesting in the flying carpet because uh you know it, it, it's like you know i could like from that monolith i could like use like two leaps with the uh, sort of the zephyr maybe three in order to get to this branch it still only takes around you know 20 30 seconds to get here but uh, yeah i probably want to keep a, a sort of the zephyr on me just because it's a uh, it's it's more convenient than having to put down the flying carpet than having to break it at the end. Okay, let's just uh, dump everything in here for now. Uh, yeah, it's a bit disorganized, but oh well. Oh, I took that with me. Probably a bad idea. Uh, but yeah, I was just carrying a bunch of stuff that I didn't need, really. I think that's everything. Oh yeah, I've got the torch. Alright. Let's get back down there. And I... What about fall damage? No, yeah, this works like the Sword of the Zephyr uh, negating fall damage. That's good. That, that would have sucked. Like, really. I probably would have died. I can't jump out of the water, though. I miss that. I, I, I miss that already. I'm going to really want to get a sort of the Zephyr, like, real soon. Back down. It's actually quite far down in the earth. What's our Y level? Nine. So, yeah, this is, like, the bedrock layer, basically. Right above bedrock. Down here. Did not know that. Alright, so it doesn't look like there's anything uh, different in here. Ah, another repository. I probably shouldn't have used up my... Uh, the first one the first time, that would have really sucked. Why couldn't I take that? Odd. Did he stack? Where'd it go? I had to... Weird. What have we got over here? Ah. Okay. Now they do stack. That's interesting. What have we got over here? Three chests. Well, that's good. More loot for me. Ah, another void crusher. Cool. I like those. I wonder if they're how much beast they're worth because I do have one now. And I don't really need two. I guess I could just let it die, I suppose. Because I don't need to change it up because I've got another one, but I don't know. Oh! Screenshot, guys. Check. Check that out. That's got to be like the coolest, most rarest, awesomest chest ever. <laughs> Plenty of stuff in here. Another repository. And Chester Boot. Oh, I don't know what we've got over here as well. Oh, okay. Nothing too special. Hmm. 
Yeah, okay, so some kind of glitch, uh, graphical glitch there with the uh, things there. Anyway, now onto the things that I missed. Uh, you, did you guys think I was crazy? What the hell are these? Void compass. I I don't even know. Should I? What should it be? What's it pointing towards? It's it's sort of like it's a oh, okay, it's pointing at something. Okay, it it's, it was sort of going like haywire outside of my inventory, but it seems to have uh, calmed down a bit now. And yeah, there's a so yeah, there's three of these and things. Very mysterious. What do they do? Well, they're all pointing the right way now. You know what? Let's just go on a quick journey. Let's just let's see where they go. I mean, I'm not. I do want to do a couple of things today, but uh, I can live with not doing them, especially if it means adventure with Thorncraft. What do you guys think? Adventure? It probably just uh. It probably leads to the next monolith, the next closest monolith. That would be sweet. Well, it certainly looks like it is. Hmm. Yeah, must do. Yep. The closest monolith it looks like it uh, leads towards. Well, cool. And I've got a couple of them. I wonder how much Vs they're worth. I really only need one, I suppose. Probably want to keep one as a backup, just in case I, like, die or something. Yeah, Void Compass. Sweet. Just, uh, making my way home and getting stuck and not having the Sword of the Zephyr to help me out is a... a pain. Family of Ocelots. Cute. Do you reckon I should use up my fish if I had it on me still? Oh, Oh, well. Yeah, so yeah, uh, I did mention they, I think the respawn rate of them, it, it's, it's probably around the same as Endermen, only you don't see them that much because there isn't that much space for them to spawn, but you know, like out here, there's plenty of space for them now. Up we go. Yeah, in the Sword of the Zephyr, I could have done that in like one shot, I had to do three hits to get up. What's going on over here? Oh yeah, the Crystallizer is a uh, sucking in vice. How's it doing? Okay, looks like it's a... Uh, we're getting a net gain in Vs at the moment. How are we doing? Uh, oh, sweet. Yeah, well, I didn't need Vs crystals. That's good. Cool, we'll just keep let that keep going. Ah. Oh, yeah, something else I discovered. You can actually uh, turn your portals off with redstone signals. So to stop annoying you. Alright, I think I need to organize my inventory now. It's uh, getting a little out of hand. Something interesting I've noticed about these uh, void compasses, which is a very cool little feature, is that they only seem to work if you've hol if you're holding them. Otherwise, they sort of uh, the needle goes crazy. Anyway, I want to get. I just uh, took out the, uh, the crystals that were in there so far because I just want to make. I just got some crystals going there to get some more vs. I want to make. Want to make some thormium ingots, but uh, I was a derp and forgot that I needed thormium. Ingots. I managed to do that without saying um. <laughs> Sweet. But yeah, uh. Because I want another Sword of the Zephyr. I desperately want another Sword of the Zephyr. Derp. Derpy bird. <laughs> I think it was, uh. A no, no, no labels left, I think, was the one that sort of said derpy bird. I loved, I laughed my head off when I read that. That was great. <laughs> anyway, another sort of those effer. Flying. Yay. And, ooh. Mm. Ah! Fight each other. That's right. Awesome. How are we doing for crystals in the meantime? Very sweet. Almost everything's grown. Loving it. I love free crystals. Thank you. Sweet. Uh, yeah, uh, we are stable, <laughs> to say the least, on uh, things. It was, uh, it, was, it was quite a long way to get here, but uh, yeah, uh, 
I'm quite pleased with how things are going at the moment. I just need some, uh, I might need eight gold to make this thing that I want to make at the moment. What am I looking for now? Apple. Yeah. Because then it might be eight, so I'll get the duplicator going. I uh, want two of these. Are you going? What's what's the story, man? Why are you why are you be broke? Hmm. I wonder if I could turn the crystallizer off with the redstone signal. That would be interesting to find out. Let's just see. Can I plonk the lever on here? Wow! It works! You can just stick a lever on there and it uh, turns it off. I probably want to move this actually, probably somewhere over here because it's a... It's kind of a secondary item really. I uh... I want to be able to use my machines. Oh no, how are we doing? We're out of these. Oh well, free crystals though. Well they're not free. But I do think, uh, I, I read or heard somewhere that uh, you actually gain, like, one of these crystals being, giving off these actually gives you more these than what it costs to make it, use it, remake it using a crystallizer. So it's, uh, you know, you're kind of getting a net gain of these from doing it, which is awesome. And I've been carrying around that string for a while. Farewell. But anyway, I just need more gold. One more piece. Come on, please. I could throw in a diamond. Mm, I don't really want to. I don't have very many. Oh yeah, and this as well. Uh, I read the comments and a lot of people are basically going crazy, so sort of saying, Enderpearl, you do have an enderpearl. I, I had no idea, I'm going to be honest. Is it part of this branch or is it this? The, uh, what I want to make. Here we go. Yeah, it's quite cheap. Ah, oh, but it uses up some gold. Like, the only thing that I don't really have enough of at the moment. <clears throat> Shall I use up a piece of my gold? I wanted to make the, keep this with a golden apple. I think this would probably be more useful. Okay, I need some iron. I th it was iron, right? Yeah. Yeah, because I need to make a seal. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, it's almost done. Right? How fast are these going? These are like max speed, basically, at the moment. Come on. Once you're done, we'll be getting a decent amount of these back. Now, how much these does it cost? Them? 200, so. Ah, oh, dear. I probably need to get some more obsidian, don't I? I probably should. On second thought, I think probably what I want to do is uh, increase the efficiency of these uh, crystals here. Well, deficiency and speed, really, but uh, we'll worry about efficiency first. But arcane singularity, earthen, and stone slab. Uh, that shouldn't be too hard. Earthen, I've got one of those already. Sweet. Uh, arcane singularity. Oh no, then that was an earthen crystal. And also slab. I should have a couple around. I made some ages and ages ago. They're probably still down here. Yeah. Uh, might need to bring a. Well, let's just bring them all up because. Uh, I mean, yeah, I want to make some upgrades. I'm doing a lot this episode. <laughs> How are we doing for these? 40, 80. Yeah, we should be enough. Uh. Suppose I could make two. No, well, I want to get at least one up. And then I want to make a speed one. I want to get more of these faster. Okay, Quicksilver and Vaporous. Yeah, alright. Uh, this is good. This is good, but things are going fast. I like it. I also need one more of these, I think. Yeah, and another one of these. I want to get two of these for my... Uh, condensers. But yeah, I'm kind of running low on V, so I'll just get one of them going for now. Come 
Come on, baby. All right. Well, that's going into the other one straight away. But that's okay. That's uh. So I guess all you really have to do is go like that. And like that. Oh yeah. There's some uh, visual changes as well. Kind of like a portal thing. Uh, up and down. So that's working more efficient and faster. That's cool. That is cool. Okay, that got made. Uh, see if we can get another efficiency. Yeah. Okay, so it sort of have to slowly trudge along. That's cool. Yeah, think th things have been going surprisingly well. But I do want I do, I do want more income. I need obsidian. How am I going to get obsidian? Because it's like I guess I need to put some water above the. Uh, but the water gets cut by the arcane bore, doesn't it? When it mines, it cuts the arcane bore. It cuts like through anything. Me postulating. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else that I wanted to do this episode? Not really. Yeah. Uh, we just kind of need to. I kind of need to expand at this point. Yeah, things are going well. Give me some. You can keep going. You probably need an efficiency one as well. I wanna. Would that make it use? It probably would make it use less space. I think. Yeah. Check it out. That's like two V's, like one V's a second at the moment. That's cool. It's uh, sucking out a lot though, check that out. 4,500, we're kind of running low. 42% for taint to increase. Oh, that's not too bad. I mean, it could be worse, right? Yeah. Hey right, guys, I think I'm probably going to uh, finish up here. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. I wanted to do this. Okay, we'll have to uh, we'll have to finally make this stuff next episode. Yeah, come back next time once I've got some more Vs and yeah. Let's have some cool, awesome Thorncraft! Things are finally going well. See you next time, guys.